Hello, it's Waddle Boy Jacob Hill, and today I'm going to be tasting every single bottled waddle in the whole entire world. I have 16 bottles of waddle. I went to Walmart, two different gas stations, and Whole Foods. And these are all the waddles that I found. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, but I just, I just thought, I'm never gonna do that because so many other people have done it, but I was like, let's do the idea. Stolen content with Jacob. This is stolen. It's really weird to think about that bottled waddle is such a big market. It's literally waddle in a bottle, and you pay like $3 for it. I wanted to do some research before this video because a lot of these water bottles talk about pH balances and electrolytes and I kind of had some knowledge about it but I wanted to do a little bit further googling into this subject. What I found out from my googling session is that most bottled water has a pH between 5 to 8 and our body has a pH, a blood pH of 7.4 and you want to stay on that pH because you could like get really sick, damage certain tissues. This is I'm not a doctor, but this is from my immature knowledge. That's what I'm gonna say. What this this is this is what that is. Electrolytes help you live. Like they help muscle contractions, help blood to clot. It does a lot of stuff. I I mean I still I feel like we have a good understanding. Do, do we? I have a good understanding. Like I kind of understand it. Do you understand it? What I said, Lucas. Uh. Let's just get into this water taste test and find out if they taste different, whatever. What are we gonna find out? Woo, first we're gonna start out with Body Almo Sport Water. It has, it's an electrolyte formula. Never had this before. A pH of 9 plus? So this is like a high ass pH. This has zero calories. I mean, that's what you'd expect, right? Okay. This is why I believe that every water is different. This water tastes more... This is so funny that I'm going so in depth with the water. This stuff tastes more dark. Do I taste it or no? You, you actually want to know what high pH tastes like. Oh yeah, if that's what high pH water is, I don't like it. Basically what I found out from this bottle of water is that top water is so smooth compared to this high pH water. No, I think I know what this is. It's Gatorade but without the flavoring. I'm pretty sure Gatorade is just electrolyte water with flavoring. It tastes like pool water to me. Ooh, now we're getting in with the controversial one, Dasani. Did you guys ever hear the conspiracy theories? Which, allegedly, um, that Dasani puts something in the water to make your mouth dry so then you want to keep drinking it. I haven't had Dasani in years. It's so weird. Every water tastes different. I already knew this, but it's weird. Like, I feel like I'm doing a science experiment. This one is even more darker than body armor. You know how there's light coffee and dark coffee? This is like dark water. It's water. I'm, I'm glad that there's water. I'm glad that it's water, but uh, I was expecting something more. Oh, Fiji. This one is kind of in the bougie top category because we have to admit, over the last eight years or so, water has became a flex. From the islands of Fiji, for some reason I always think they're lying when they say where the water's from. Honestly, this one tastes the same as the other two. It's like a mixture of those two. The next one is Life Water. Watch this one. I never had Life. No, I think I have had it before, but I always think of outsy people drinking it. I feel like if you went to out school, this is what this is what everyone drinks. Is that the one that's at Starbucks? Yeah. Okay. I admire this one for the amount of water you get. Like, it goes out. That was such a gross movement, but. Mm. I have to stand up for this. This is weird. This is another type of water. This one tastes like Jomex. There's so much water that tastes like Jomex. Taste it, Lucas. Ew, Jermex? Whole... Okay, so there's so many types of water that tastes like Jomex. It's this weird phenomenon that I've always noticed. In a weird Oh way. yeah, it does taste like something's there. Jomex, right? Um, I just realized you don't have my, you don't have my favorite water. Wait, what is it? Smart water. Wait, yeah, I do. No, you don't. You're 
joking. How would you forget Smart Water? Now we're going into Just Waddle, which I think is Jaden Smith's company. Let me coin that. Yeah, he founded Just Waddle in 2015. I've always wanted to try this, as funny as that sounds. Wait, he's literally the founder? Yeah. I think his whole mission was to like, because you know it's in like a cow and he wanted to like save the environment. Reduce plastics. I'm gonna try it, Jaden. I know you're watching. This one out of every one so far tastes the most like tap waddle. And for me personally, I like that flavor. Do you wanna taste it? Okay. Oh yeah, that just tastes like literally, like if there was such thing as vegan water, that would be it. Cause it tastes like they didn't add any sort of reverse osmosis. I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't taste like raw water. You did something with this, Jaden. I see where you're coming at and I hope the company grows. Now we're moving on to Vast, which is in a glass bottle. Nuh-uh. It actually is. Wait, I thought it would be at least plastic. Oh my God, rich people. So this is sparkling water, but there's no bubbles in it. This is also buying like a hydro flask. Cause can't you reuse glass? bottle as many times as you want you pretty much bought a water bottle too what, but for some reason i feel like like obviously any of this can be like reused but is this actually like actual glass or is it fake glass oh it's bubbling so it's sparkling fancy i couldn't even properly rate it me personally sparkling water tastes like like i'm down to drink sparkling water if it's mixed with something but Let's have Lucas taste it because Lucas actually likes sparkling water. Oh more than yeah, flat water, right? When you're drinking it, it's sort of like, why are you trying to act like you were drinking sparkling water before you came out here? <laughs> oh yeah, the Kanye West song. Mm. I just love sparkling water because it actually has a taste. That's what I love about it. It just um, tastes like lemon or something. As weird as that sounds. Yeah, it does have like some sort of taste. I don't even know what it is, but like I just love the way sparkling water tastes. Now we're getting with pure nestle life. Is this video gonna be like 50 minutes long? <laughs> Nestle. <laughs> oh yeah, like this is a chocolate bar company. I've always had an issue with it. <laughs> I was laughing because we're calling it Nestle. Nestle? <laughs> <laughs> Nestle. <laughs> Bitch. I actually just wasn't joking. That wasn't supposed to be funny. I've obviously had this before, but I don't remember having it. It has the same vibe as Dasani, but it tastes more, um, more just like raw, if that makes sense. Cool, let's move on to the next one. This is Waddle made by Chuck Norris. And if you guys don't know who he is, the guy at the gas station told me he's, he was in a bunch of cowboy movies in the, in like the 70s or something. And now he has his own bottled Waddle. Would you ever picture that? <laughs> Chuck Norris, he was big in like the 2000s, I think, or 90s. In like the 80s, he used to be in like- Oh, maybe it was like the 80s. Movies. I remember everyone always used to make jokes about Chuck Norris. This is premium artesian water, which artesian is the it word. It makes it sound like you're, you're on a balcony in Paris. Okay, is it gonna taste like Chuck Norris? I don't even believe Chuck Norris drinks water. Oh, he was Walker, Texas Ranger that dad used to watch. Do you remember when dad watched that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes like body armor, but less dark. Oh yeah, what I learned today is I don't like high pH waters. How is it artisan water though, like you said? Like what, how are artisans are doing, collecting the water or what? The next one is, I, I saw this at the, at the gas station like two weeks ago and I was, wow, this one is like, I'm pretty sure it's so new. Half water? This half water was like three dollars and this is Lucas's Yeti and it, like, I, it feels like it's the same quality as a Yeti. It's fucking weird. It's supposed to be a refillable bottle. Oh my God. Yeah, so you could buy this for like $3 and then just keep it. I picture a lot of people drink these and just throw it away. So it might actually be bad for the environment. Oh yeah. But let's not talk about that. I think this one is for the 4th of July. Yeah, says pH balance and electrolytes for taste, and it tastes like that. You can actually tell the difference between when it has electrolytes and pH. Path water should create a thing in gas stations. Why isn't this a thing? So if you have a path water bottle, you can refill it there, but only if you have a path water bottle. So it'd be like a Tesla charging station, except with water. Now we're on to Uber water, which you guys probably don't even know what this is because I didn't know what it is, but maybe I'm just ignorant. Uber water? They just copied Smart Water's look. I'm pretty, wait, do you think that Smart Water has had extra bottles? Cause they are like, we don't like this size of water bottle anymore. And this random water brand came along and says, we will buy all 50,000 of them and make our own company. They obviously use because the same manufacturer. The yeah, even that, you know that blue circle on the side? That's on Smart Water. Oh my gosh, we, we're on to you. I'm just gonna do a waterfall. 
Ooh, this has the Jomax flavor of life water. I don't even know how it tastes like Jomax. There's legit a breed of water that tastes like Jomax. It's weird. Now we're going in with Great Value Water. You know, we had to get one half plant. This is Great Value Alkaline Water, 9.5 pH or higher. Like, I feel like in five years, you're gonna go to the gas station and people are gonna say 20 pH, but I don't know how high you can make the pH. Yeah. Our high pH water tastes the same. It tastes the same as body on one stuff. It's weird. There's categories for this shit. It's crazy. Now we're going with Aquafina. This is just like the basic one. Cardi B's compared her vagina to Aquafina. She has? In some song. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it tastes like, uh, Joe Max again. This is the Joe Max water. Now we're going with cool water. This is like the new person on the block. I feel like this is kind of in now. It says it's made from 100% recycled plastic and it's really big. It's a cool lid. Like this company is being inventive. Invented to. This one's different. It has the taste of a Jomux waddle, but with a touch of nacho waddle. It's doing good. Oh, I like it. It's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good person. Now we're on to... Waiki? Waiki. Waiki. Oh, this is a Hawaii vol volcanic waddle. So I guess I'm gonna drink water from a volcano. I'm excited for this. This one reminds me of Evian waddle, which I couldn't find Evian waddle. I was pissed. So this will have to do. And the waddle looks so blue. It's obviously because the plastic's tinted blue, but still. Okay. This one's original. It doesn't taste like any of the others. It kind of tastes like cold water, actually. Oh. Now we're going in with Ozalka 100% natural spring water. Cool, I think I've had this before. This is probably just basic water. I'm excited to try it. Mm. It's not basic water. It tastes a little bit like Jolmax. I've always loved like the natural spring waters. Oh, like, what do you mean? Like these ones? No, like the ones like Ozarka, there's like Arrowhead, Colorado Springs or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing is that this is probably only like 5% of the whole entire bottled water movement. The very last one is Essentia Overachieving H2O. This is another one that's kind of like Fiji. It's a bougie water. I remember I saw the Kardashians drinking this. And I thought it was bougie because they drink it. I think I've had it before. Let's see if it will make me feel like I'm worth a billion dollars. Mm. Okay, again, this one's bringing something new to the table. Cold water, volcanic, and essentia are identical to me. <laughs> It tastes just like basic though. Like I swear smart water tastes better than this, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Now I'm gonna rank these waddles, and even though there are so many, I'm gonna try to pull all of my past emotions into this ranking. This will be least, this will be favorite. Okay. My least favorite is Dasani, not because it is in the cheapo spectrum, honestly just because it's boring. Like I never get Dasani water. This is difficult. I just want to preface this ranking is that I would drink any of these waddles. I might as well be particular, you know? You gotta pick a side. No, you can be neutral. Now we're going with Body Elmo. This one just tastes dark. Um, okay, just waddle's gonna be in the front. We're gonna do life waddle next. It was too dark. Now we're doing vast sparkling waddle because it's sparkling. I'm just... I'm just not that big of a fan of sparkling water. Fiji is good, so that's going over there. Sorry, Chuck Norris, but you're going next. Wait, I need to try Ubo water one more time. Oh, yeah, this is going next. Half the water is exactly in the middle because this is the most neutral water to me. This great value has, it tastes, it has way too high of a pH. I don't know anything about pH, but the flavor of the pH. Oh, now we're going with pure Nestle. Nestle, just because, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but it's not anything amazing. Next up, I'm doing Essentia. It had a little too much of that Jomax flavor. Now we're doing Cold Waddle, and then we're doing Hawaiian Volcanic Waddle. Number one is gonna be Just Waddle. Honestly, I'm so proud of Jaden Smith. If I was his mom, I'd be in tears, or his dad, or his uncle. 
anyone. The next up is gonna be Aquafina because Aquafina is a true and a true. It's true. It's never lying. Then we're gonna do Fiji because um Fiji is one of my faves. Then Ozaka because it's just you know it's 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 good. This is my official water bottle ranking. Next time you go to the gas station, pick up my faves. No, um, unfortunately I don't have any uh referral codes for these waddles, but if I did, I would um try to make money off these waddles, but I don't right now. <laughs> um <laughs> I mean it. Thanks for watching. Um drink waddle and goodbye.